Before diving into the declaration, it's essential to grasp the significance of what we're discussing. The Large Hadron Collider, LHC, operated by CERN stands as a monumental achievement in science. Spanning 17 miles this complex network of superconducting magnets is not only the largest but also the most potent particle accelerator on the planet. It is an extraordinary representation of human ingenuity and logical achievement. Remarkably, the LHC is so powerful that it has the capability to recreate conditions similar to those during the universe's birth. But as we explore the vastness of the universe, could this machine which aims to unlock the secrets of existence inadvertently expose us to more dangerous consequences? Founded in 1954, CERN is one of the world's most prestigious scientific research institutions. Comprising 23 member nations and a large community of researchers, it serves as a hub for collaboration and innovation. While the LHC is its flagship project, it is just one component of a vast array of particle accelerators and experiments. Think of it as a track not for cars or horses, but for subatomic particles racing against each other in a test of speed precision and the nature of space-time itself. At the LHC protons are accelerated to almost the speed of light mimicking the energy levels present at the moment of the Big Bang. The resulting collisions generate temperatures far hotter than the core of the Sun. A series of magnets directs the protons on their path, while advanced cooling systems maintain the temperature of the magnets at levels lower than outer space. The collisions are designed to take place at four different points around the accelerator where specialized detectors Atlas CMS Alice and LHCB capture data. Each detector serves a unique function providing a different perspective on the aftermath of these crashes. Together they act like gigantic cameras, photographing the results with researchers combing through the debris to uncover elusive particles like the Higgs boson, often referred to as the God particle and other phenomena that may help piece together the building blocks of our universe. By focusing on the subatomic realm scientists seek insights into the very nature of the cosmos. However, each new discovery only brings forth more questions. The LHC is not just a tool, it symbolizes humanity's unrelenting curiosity and thirst for knowledge. It embodies our drive to understand the forces that govern existence. Yet as we push the boundaries of the unknown, we must confront the moral and existential challenges that come with this pursuit. What dangers might arise from delving too deeply into the unknown could our quest for knowledge open doors to powers beyond our control? At CERN where the limits of human understanding are tested a troubling realization, has emerged one that has sent shivers down the spines of even the most seasoned scientists. Brian Cox, a former CERN researcher and a respected voice in the world of particle physics, has recently shared an unsettling statement that has both intrigued and unnerved people worldwide. According to Cox, the purpose of the LHC is to simulate a miniature Big Bang, yes, a small-scale version of the very event that birthed our universe. Cox further elaborated on the significance of this goal, explaining the immense potential of the LHC for groundbreaking discoveries such as unveiling the mysteries of dark matter, a mysterious substance that constitutes a large portion of the universe. This possibility of harnessing the fundamental forces of the universe is undeniably captivating, yet it comes with inherent risks. The mini Big Bang is not merely a theoretical idea, it is an actual phenomenon occurring inside the LHC. The collider recreates conditions of extreme heat pressure and energy, mimicking those at the dawn of the universe itself. It's as if we are witnessing the beginning of time. This is not a new concern. In 1978, Russian physicist Anatoly Bugorsky experienced an incident that drastically altered the course of his life. While working with the U-70 synchrotron at the Institute for High Energy Physics in Pradvino, Russia, a malfunction caused his head to inadvertently cross the path of a proton beam. The beam traveling at nearly unimaginable speed pierced his skull entering from the back and exiting through his nose. Although Bugorsky experienced an intense flash of light brighter than a thousand suns, he remained conscious and even walked to receive treatment. The aftermath was both fascinating and alarming. He lost hearing in one ear and suffered partial facial paralysis. Despite the severity of the injury, his cognitive functions remained unaffected and he continued his scientific work. Bugorsky's experience serves as a stark reminder of the power and potential danger of particle accelerators. The risks associated with an atom smasher like the LHC are not to be taken lightly. There are real concerns about unforeseen reactions that could alter the very fabric of existence. Some scientists worry about the possibility of creating a miniature black hole within the collider. Black holes are regions of space where gravity is so intense that nothing not even light can escape. They are mysterious destructive forces that lurk at the edges of the cosmos. 
The idea that the LHC could create even a tiny black hole is both awe-inspiring and terrifying. Could such a black hole eventually grow uncontrollably consuming the Earth from the inside out? CERN researchers have reassured the public that any black hole formed would be incredibly unstable and would vanish almost immediately. Still the mere possibility of such an event has generated widespread debate and concern. To understand how the LHC could potentially create a black hole, we must first consider the basic workings of a particle accelerator. When protons collide at nearly the speed of light, the energy generated is so intense that it can distort the fabric of space-time itself. Imagine a trampoline being stretched tight and then a heavy object is dropped onto it. The fabric bends and if the object is massive enough, it could create a depression so deep that anything nearby would be pulled into it. This simplified analogy provides a glimpse into how the LHC might affect space-time on a quantum level. At this quantum scale where the laws of physics seem strange and unpredictable, there's a theory suggesting the existence of extra dimensions beyond our familiar three dimensions of space and one of time. If these extra dimensions do exist, the LHC might be able to tap into them, potentially creating a gravitational well that forms a tiny black hole. The possibility of such an occurrence has drawn the attention of renowned physicists, including the late Stephen Hawking. In his writings, Hawking warned of the potential for the Higgs boson to become unstable at extremely high energies which could trigger catastrophic consequences such as vacuum decay. The esteemed astrophysicist Sir Martin Rees also raised concerns about the LHC's experiments in his book On the Future of Humanity, he explored the potential dangers of particle accelerators, emphasizing the catastrophic possibilities of vacuum instability. He acknowledged that while the likelihood of such an event occurring was low, even a small chance warranted careful consideration. The stakes are high and the margin for error is razor thin. Researchers at CERN have conducted extensive simulations and analysis, taking every precaution to ensure the safety of their experiments. Brian Cox himself has acknowledged the concerns surrounding the LHC, emphasizing that there are stringent safety measures in place. These measures include comprehensive reviews and protocols to ensure that the collider's operations are conducted with the utmost care. According to Cox, the energies involved in LHC experiments are far less than those that naturally occur on Earth and the chances of creating a stable black hole are astronomically low. Even if one were to form, it would be so small and unstable that it would quickly dissipate, releasing a burst of energy predicted by Hawking's theory of Hawking radiation. Some have speculated that the LHC's experiments could open a gateway to another universe or dimension. While this idea is largely dismissed by mainstream scientists, it has captured the imagination of many fueling myths and rumors. What lies beyond our universe could we unintentionally unleash forces or entities that we do not understand the concept of opening a door to hell has even been sensationalized in media amplifying the uncertainty surrounding these experiments. The notion of parallel dimensions is not a new one. String theory, a leading contender for a unified theory of everything, suggests that there may be more than the four dimensions we experience, three of space and one of time. These additional dimensions may be hidden from our senses, but could in theory be accessed under extreme conditions. Imagine the LHC as a key unlocking doors to realms that have been concealed since the beginning of time. When protons collide with energies never before seen on Earth, they might create ripples or waves that probe these hidden dimensions. While this idea remains speculative, it highlights the allure of the unknown. The possibility of discovering other dimensions continues to fascinate the public, even though mainstream scientists remain unconvinced that the LHC will open a doorway to another universe or to hell itself. Nevertheless, the idea of the LHC being a cosmic key unlocking doors to new realities continues to captivate the imagination of many.